Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I think we're going to now talk about the show at the MGM Grand, Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, US of A. 15th of June 2019, promoted by Bob Aram and Frank Warren. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Well, there's nobody going down in this uh, main event fight, was there really? That were of the quality of Joe Frazier, but it was a Tyson Fury masterclass. We have to give him credit. I've been critical of his opponent, but you know, he's six foot five, eighteen stone, WBO ranked number two. So he, Tyson could only fight who was in front of him and he never lost a second of uh, any round. He got caught once really, didn't he? So maybe you could say he lost one second in one round, but he uh, he was a boxing masterclass, but the opponent... Pff, how are these guys getting to be ranked number two? I don't know. But now that uh, Tom Swartz has got the profile, I see Eddie Earn making a move to get him on his shows, but Frank's already probably got that lined up. Uh, they're probably going to get him on their undercards, but I don't exactly know what's been said because I've not been catching up on anything, and I'll, uh, I'll probably catch up on things over the next few days or people send me things to... Uh, the trusted ones that have got my number. Now, running through the show, uh, none of the opponents on the night had a losing record and they were all good fights. I mean, Peter Kaduri 3 0 against a guy 3 1 and a draw. You know, that were a unanimous decision. That were, that were a good fight. Guido Vianello. 3 and 0 against the guy 6 3 and 1. He uh, stopped him in round 2. Tony Weeks with referee on that. Liked, glad to see Tony Weeks getting out. Andre Ward's best mate. Kem Kellick 13 and 0 against Martez McGregor were postponed. So was Sonny Conto, Conto sorry, against Daniel Infant Infante. But Andy Venice, 22 and 0 won. Uh, so he lost, sorry, against Albert uh, Bell. That just shows you quality at card, to be honest. There were no uh, gimme fights on there, apart from Tyson's, you could say that were a gimme fight. Isaac Lowe were in a tough one, he won the unanimous decision. So he's got to be given credit, so has his trainer, Ben Davidson. Michaela Mayer, 10 and 0 against Liz Crespo, 13 and 4. She won on points. Same as Isaac won on points. He looked alright, Isaac Lowe, to be honest, from what I've seen. Sullivan Barrera lost against Jesse Hart. That were a pretty even fight, e evenly matched fight. And uh, Jane Adit ref on that. I noticed how Russell Mora ended up getting two slots on night, you know, referee. I spot these little things. But, uh Tyson just ma mastered him, didn't he? Ma mastered the Swartz, didn't he? Down goes Swartz. Down goes Swartz. <laughs> that, that's what uh, our Cosell would have said if he, were, if he were involved in the show, wouldn't he? If he were a pundit on the night, but... Tyson did what he had to do. He had to get him out there early. He can only beat who's in front of him. So, as far as I'm concerned, it is what it is, isn't it? He's won. It's onwards and upwards. Uh, it looks like they're going to build the Wilder fight up. Personally, I don't think they'll take the Wilder fight. I think they'll make millions without that. 
uh, unless it's an end of end of end of career fight for for Tyson. I don't think he'll take mega risks unless it's mega money uh, or unless he's had a loss. But uh, you have to give him credit for taking the first wild of fight because I don't think he was hundred percent. I think he's probably up to about ninety percent now, which is probably going to worry. Wilder, I used to say that Wilder wants that fight, he might, he might not want that fight now, but, uh, so we're, we're going to see, aren't we, we're going to see, but, uh, it's all good positive stuff, so, Stig will be coming on the channel shortly, to em empty a load, I suppose, uh, if he hasn't already done it last night, <laughs> Hey, hey, but what can you do, you know, Tyson's playing the game, isn't he, he gets it, doesn't he, Clinton Woods didn't get it, when he was with Dennis, he never got it, do you know what I mean, Tyson Fury gets it, he goes out to America, he's eating apple pie, walking about and uh, saying God bless America, gets him ring, with Rocky music, and uh and the old uh, American shorts on, he does get it. And maybe Stig's right. Maybe Tyson Fury is going to be a big star out there. But it's all good positive stuff, isn't it? But, you know, you can get caught up in all the bullshit and that. But it's boxing, isn't it? We, we all get caught up on it. I get caught up on it more than anybody because I live and breathe it. But uh, some of the things Tyson says I don't agree with, but... Probably 50% of the stuff he says I don't agree with. But a lot of things he says I do agree with. But there's no... We can't take nothing away from the man, can we? He's a masterful boxer. And he's developed a style that... You know, he, he doesn't get hit. You know, he got hit last night once. But other than that, he doesn't get hit, does he? It's very... He don't take punishment. He's like Billy Joe. You know, Billy Joe, Tyson, your kid Galahad's, Johnny Nelson's... Bomber Graham, them sort of guys don't take punishment, but when they do, they get iced, don't they? But uh, they just don't take punishment. They're very selective in who they fight. I think Billy Joe's been selective in his opponents. You know, he's not been, he's not fought Canelo or Triple G, has he? And he don't want to fight Callum Smith. We're hearing all that nonsense, but he don't want to fight Callum. Now. But he'd be a good fight, and I'd like to see it. And who knows, maybe he beats him, but they're not going to take risks, and quite rightly so, if they can get millions of pounds without taking risks. They do right, don't they, really? But like I said, it's the bullshit I can't, I can't abide with. I don't think Tyson can call himself the best yet. I think he needs, a couple, he needs to fight Wilder, Ruiz. He needs to rematch Wilder, Ruiz, and... Joshua, them sort of guys, Dylan White, and he, and he wins over them guys. You can't come back, fight Sarah for Sarifi, Pianetta, win them, win against them guys, and Tom Swartz, draw with Wilder and say it best. But I think he's on the road, and he's just done that to a number two WBO ranked guy. Although, to be fair to. Uh, Fair to Tom Swartz, he's ranked number 56 on the on the independent rankings, but number two on the WBO. That's how messed up it is, really. Uncle Frank would have got him his WBO ranking, no doubt. But, you know, he's, he's given him a loss now, and, you know, Tyson's had 29 fights now, and, you know, he's stopped, he's stopped 20, 20 of those guys. Uh and that's basically it really, he doesn't, he don't KO guys does he, I mean he KO'd Steve Cunningham, you give him that, he KO'd uh, Marcelo Nascimento and he KO'd Matthew Ellis, now well, that were Matthew Ellis what 10 year ago Nascimento were uh, over eight years ago, 
eight and a half year ago, and Steve Cunningham was over six year ago, so, but then again, Tyson had that break, didn't he? But, like I said, a massive performance, very flashy, very lethal. His dad said venomous, yeah, and I can see that. The Swartz were there to make him look good. But, the offers all pile in now from Matchroom to to put somebody in with Tom Swartz, and that's an easy win for Dillian White, but if Tyson Fury, Tom Swartz is £20, Dillian White, Tom Swartz, that would be £20, wouldn't it? Or Joseph Parker against Swartz, would that be £20? Not in England it wouldn't be, but it'd be a chief support. But uh, anyway, peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll crack on with you, getting this sent to Nicola now and pick some insert pictures out. And uh, onwards and upwards, shout out to Castle Windows. Thank you for backing the channel. Peace out, keep on trucking.